My name's Tim and welcome to Tim Cube. Today we're going to be reading Harry and Clara Rompus at the Vet. Down at the vet there were all kinds of pets with troubles and woes from their ears to their toes. Sniffles and snuffles and doses of, doses of flu, itches and stitches and tummy ache too. So many animals, watchful and wary, and Harry McClary from Donaldson's Dairy. There were miserable dogs, cantankerous cats, a rabbit with pimples, and rickety rats. Mice with the sneezes, the goat in a rage, and Cassie the cockatoo locked in her cage. Cassie had claws and a troublesome beak. She saw something twitch, so she gave it a tweak. She pulled it so hard that she plucked out her hair, and Harry Clary jumped high in the air. A bowl full of mice was bundled about. Over it went, and the mice tumbled out. Four fussy budgies with Grandmother Goff flew out of their cage when the bottom dropped off. Grizzly Muck Duff with, with a bottle brush tail leaped out of his basket and over the rail. The Pukadon kittens from Parkinson Place squeezed through an opening and joined in the chase. Barnacle Beasley forgot he was sore. He bum bumbled and clattered all over the floor. Then Custard the Labrador, Muffin McClay and Noodle the Poodle decided to play. They skipped and scampered, they slid all around and bottles and boxes came tumbling down. What a kerfuffle, a scramble of paws, a tangle of bodies, a jumble of jaws. With squawking and yowling, a mournful meow, they really were making a terrible row. Out came the vet. I'll fix them, she said. But she tripped on a lead and fell over instead. Geezer the goat crashed into a cage. He butted the bars in a thundering rage. Cassie got mad. She rattled, rattled her beak. She saw something twitch, so she gave it a tweak. See you next time on Tinicube. Bye.